going to more carefully paint these ones. Hi, and welcome to an episode of Liz Bakes for you. Today, I am at one of my childhood malls eating an Auntie Anne's pretzel. Today, I'm going to be making an Auntie Anne's pretzel into a donut, hopefully. Now, some elements I'm looking for today are going to be a chewier, less sweet dough than what I might normally make, and also getting that nice, like, baking soda-y type flavor that you get from boiling pretzels. Um, and you know, if it hits me in the nostalgia, like coming to the mall and eating a pretzel did today, I think, I think it'll be a win. Let's get started. So I used to come to this mall from Melbourne and it would be like a trip. We'd take an hour long drive to the Florida mall they had an Old Navy, which we didn't have in my town, and we'd always go to Macy's, Old Navy, J.C. Penney, and then I'm trying to remember, oh, they had a Delia's for sure. We went to the Delia's. They had a Charlotte Russe, which they actually still have, where you can walk in one end and walk out the other. There's no other mall store that you could do that at. Um, okay, so, but we came here today for an Auntie Anne's pretzel, which we do have an Auntie Anne's in Melbourne. Um, and we'd always park at JCPenney, shop there, and then we'd walk into the mall, and the first thing you'd smell is very close by is an Auntie Anne's, and we'd always get, I'd always get a cinnamon sugar pretzel because I'm like a sweet, sweet first kind of person. But I already ate a giant bowl of cereal this morning, so I went for a salted pretzel. Um, I think I'm gonna do better than this on the shade. <laughs> Not to like throw shade, because you know, I don't know how much they get paid an hour to make these pretzels, but. Oh, good. It's crunchy. It has like that really distinct like baking soda flavor that you get from like because they're supposed to be boiled pretzels. That's how they get their color. They're boiled in baking soda. And like a nice crunchiness. Um, we used to get those. There's a toy over there that just like all it does is squeak. And some parent had to buy that for their child today and take it home with them. I don't know if anybody else had these, but when I was in school, there are all these different things that you sold to like raise money for, what the fuck were we raising money for all the time? Why was I, as an eight-year-old, selling Auntie Anne's build your own pretzel kits at home? All I know is I never sold very many of them, except I sold some to my own family, because I was really bad at it. Which usually just turned into a day of us gorging ourselves on cinnamon sugar and salted pretzels. Um, in order to get the cinnamon sugar to stick, you had to brush them with melted butter. And then right after that, we'd pull out the little Caesars pizza kit that we, that we bought. I'm gonna have to do a different type of dough. Cause this one isn't sweet, like the dough itself isn't sweet at all. It's a little chewier than like a, pre a donut dough that I have. So I wanna do more than just like shape it like a pretzel, you know? All right, well, my mom's coming to pick us up in five minutes. So we better go wait outside. We are jumping right into donuts here. Now, on my Instagram, I went over this. You can find that in the description. I made a pretzel dough for the donuts today. So it's been rising for a while. A lot lighter in color. It's made with water, a very small amount of sugar, salt, and flour. Oh, and yeast, duh. So it's pretty simple. And it is with bread flour, so it's gonna be chewy. But I was thinking about making these pretzels and not only do i want it to be pretzel dough but there's like there's another aspect of pretzels especially from auntie Anne's, that it's like they have like a baking soda flavor element to them um and comment if you ever accidentally called it aunt annie's for your entire childhood until someone corrected you but i already started heating the oil up because my other thought on this was i don't really want these to be super puffy right like pretzels are pretty dense and chewy so i'm actually gonna roll one out and throw it right into the fryer and see what happens this is supposed to make about six donuts six pretzels six pro nuts <laughs> detzels that's kind of cute okay so that's two
I have a scale. As you guys know, I'm very into the kitchen scale. That's batteries dead. So we're just gonna do, <laughs> these seem about the same weight. It seems very easy, you know what I mean? Like when you see them, they're like, and then they have a pretzel. Do you think that's gonna happen for me? There's too much, I need this to be stickier. This isn't looking very, very great. Oh, so my theory for the, for the baking soda flavor in this is to brush these with oil after they get out and also put a little baking soda in them. I don't know that I'm gonna do it justice. These always need to be longer than you think they need to be. That's pretty long. That's what she said. Okay. So they flip it up. <laughs> it. I think it needs to be rolled even longer. Ooh, 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 okay. Oh yeah. That seems kind of small compared to the Auntie Anne's one, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, is weird. I didn't take a photo of that one because it was a little too ugly. I'm afraid this is gonna come apart in the fryer too. So I'm gonna do a little pinching action here. I'm just gonna pop them in here. And again, didn't rise this at all. I don't want it to burn on the bottom. Definitely a little dense. It's not as flat as I'd like it to be. What, like? This is a lot. So, you can see it better now, but it like, it expanded like this way. You see, like the, basically how it's not floating. Okay, well, I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's like... I mean, it looks pretzel -y. It is the shape of a pretzel. This is the move. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I got that one a little bit better. That other one didn't come apart, but it like got too fat. What do we think? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try that one upside down. See how it goes. Maybe that'll help. I think the upside down is gonna work. We are here with the most misshapen pretzels I've ever seen. I was making fun of Auntie Anne's earlier today for their weird looking pretzel, but you know, joke's on me because it's kind of difficult. I am going to rub half of them with butter. Actually, no, I'm gonna rub all of them with butter and do fancy salts on one. What do you think, a black garlic salt one? Pretty good. pretty good. I also have Red alaya sea salt, I guess. Cell gris, Florida cell, pink Himalayan, a classic. Um, black lava salt, Bolivian rose salt. How is that different than pink Himalayan? And Trapani sea salt. Well, the chunkiest one is the black lava salt, but I don't think it'll look very good. Like. Might look a little creepy. Okay, cinnamon sugar done. Cinnamon and sugar in the air everywhere. All right, I could melt the butter and brush them with it. Or I could do this. I don't know that I really need to put butter on these because obviously they have oil all over them, but you know, I think it's more of a flavor thing. Oh, baking soda. Can you reach down there and grab me baking soda? Okay, so a little baking powder in here, or baking soda. And the reasoning is usually when you're making a pretzel, the, re the way that they get that really dark color is they 
dip it in like a baking soda water bath. I'm not doing that. I mean, you've seen everything I've done with this besides how I made the dough. These are falling apart. They're probably pretty tasty though. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. What about like a salt and pepper pretzel? That'd probably be pretty tasty, right? This one's not very hot anymore. This was the first one and he, I made fun of how ugly he was and then he turned out to be the most beautiful out of the entire batch. Which, you know, don't count your chickens until after you've fried them and they all look terrible. Come in, come in close for a little footage. They're not as big as an Auntie Anne's pretzel, but what do you think? Okay, I'm gonna try this one because he's, Wait, which is the ugliest one? That one? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. It's got that chewiness of a pretzel. Give me. Little baby piece. Are you baking soda bay? These were a very good idea. They're getting my way though. Okay, I'm gonna try the salty one now. Now that I baking soda it. Yeah. Oh, I'm very hungry. I'm gonna need a hard fish on your steak, so. Okay, so today, I said okay and so. Today I set out on a journey to the mall with my boyfriend um, who did drive me there but didn't pay for my pretzel. What's up with that? We walked, not hand in hand, so another really huge missed opportunity there. We got a salted pretzel at Auntie Anne's to try, the classic, although I would argue cinnamon sugar is also a classic, and came away from it with a few notes. One pretty chewy dough, you know, not going to be similar to a donut where it's light and fluffy and delicious. Um, still delicious, just not light and fluffy. And the other thing is that element of the baking agent, the baking soda kind of flavor that comes through with it. And obviously the shape. Now you guys saw me attempt the shape. I did my very best. <laughs> These are technically roughly pretzel shaped. I would even argue more pretzel shaped than the ones I got today. I would also argue that even though I rolled these very thin, I could have gone even thinner. So, result. We did some cinnamon sugar ones, we did some black garlic salted ones, and then, what's that salt again? Cell, cell gris? I don't know. We did fancy salted pretzels today, and they're actually really, really good. So, this came together probably in under two hours if you're just needing the dough to rise. But thank you all for joining me while I made a donuts out of these pretzels. And I hope you join me again soon for another episode or go back and check out some of my older ones on Panera bread bowl soup or school lunch pepperoni pizza into a donut. Both very fun and very delicious. All right, thank you guys. Oh, like and subscribe. That's what I say, right? Everybody says that. Mm. I wanna combine the salt and the cinnamon sugar flavors. Oh, Frodo Putin is kind of...